Now, it creates enough power for 15,000 homes and is saving the taxpayer millions of pounds. And it's all down to rubbish. Lincoln's new energy from waste power station has been officially opened by the business secretary, Vince Cable, who praised it for its innovation. Our environment correspondent, Paul Murphy, has been to find out how it works. This large building dominates Lincoln's skyline. But what does it do? Officially opening the plant, the business secretary was shown how rubbish is burnt to produce steam to drive turbines, which then make electricity for the national grid. This is a very good way of doing it. I mean, solar and wind are very good as well, but they're intermittent because you know, it doesn't uh, sunshine all the time. This keeps going round the clock, and it's it's also helping to kill the problem of waste that otherwise goes into landfill, very very expensive for local council taxpayers. There's a steady flow of bin lorries here, bringing in residual waste. That's the stuff we don't recycle. In the past, it's been buried in the ground as landfill, and councils taxed for doing that. So burning it saves them money. What about the, the obvious question? There's a chimney uh, just above your head. Yeah. What about what comes out of here? Is that harmful? Um, your barbecue in your garden is probably more harmful than this. It, it's, it's so, so unmanaged. The plant will burn 150,000 tonnes of Lincolnshire rubbish every year, generating enough power for 15,000 homes and saving around £15 million a year in landfill tax. And on top of all that, excess heat from this plant could soon be used by local homes and businesses. So all of this begs the question, why aren't we building more of these? There's evidence that we need to. On Hull Docks, a company actually exports residual waste to be burned in Europe. They are difficult things to, uh, to develop. Uh, they're expensive um, in terms of the capital investment requirement. Uh, over their life, though, they're a very cost-effective alternative to traditional old um, technologies like landfilling and such like. Built in under three years, this plant has already gained international recognition. Burning rubbish to help keep the lights on and saving money in the process. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North.